This video is going to introduce basic co concepts about airline ticket pricing. Are you ready? Let's go! The area of the airline dealing with pricing is called normally revenue management. The way they calculate total revenue is multiplying revenue passengers, that means passengers paying for their tickets, times the price they are paid. And the key here is to set up prices in a way which maximize total revenue. That's the main purpose of these people. Let's see how they can do it. On this chart, we are representing price on this axis and quantity of passengers traveling on this other. If a low price is being set, then a high number of passengers are willing to travel on that flight. By contrast, if we set up a high price, then low number of passengers will be willing to fly. So the aim is how to set up prices and other uh, features in order to maximize uh, revenue. Let's see what those are. Some of the pricing features that people uh, working at pricing departments are using are the following. Advanced purchase is one of them. So that means if the flight is being booked one month before, the price is going to be normally cheaper than the flight is booked one or two days before. Second is time. There are certain flights at uh, certain times of the day with higher demand, more people willing to uh, fly, that prices are higher than in other uh, flights, for instance, very, very early morning. Then we have uh, ticket types and conditions. For instance, here we have no refundable tickets, so it means you buy a very cheap ticket, but you cannot change it. Or you, you buy a, a more expensive ticket, which you can change. In order to see these features, we are going to see one example. This is a personal example. I live in Istanbul, and on the 11th of May, I was going to have one meeting in Ankara. The meeting was at 10 o'clock. So I went to the website of a low-cost airline from Turkey called uh, Pegasus, and I checked availability and price. The, meet, the meeting I knew just four days before, and the information given was different flight times, the different ticket types, and the different prices. Let's see one by one. We saw that advanced purchase, one of the mechanisms used by pricers to set up uh, different prices. In this case, we are talking about four days before the flight. And this was the ticket price given for the different times. If I would book the ticket more in advance, or the meeting will be like a one week after, that, that would mean 10 days before the flight, we see that the prices are quite different. For instance, one flight ticket of 185 for four days in advance goes down to 50 Turkish Liras when you do it 10 days in advance. So the closer the flight day gets, the more expensive it gets. Another feature is the time of the day. In my case, having to be at 10 o'clock in Ankara, I have just these two options. And this will be the most, the most attractive because I will get to the meeting, but I see that this price is higher than the price from a uh, before flight. So on this example, we see that flights with more demand, so there are more people like me having meetings at 10 o'clock or something like that, 
they will have more demands than those very early flights in which you have to get up very, very early in the morning. A third element is the ticket type, the condition associated to my ticket, which in my case, I am of being offered three types, essentials, advantage, and extra are they called. So all three give me the essential, which means just to transport from A to B, from Istanbul to Ankara, to get some uh, Pegasus Plus, some points, and a standard baggage, so the carry-on baggage on the plane. But then the advantage option gives me uh, some more kilos. They offer me the possibility to, to book a specific seat, and they even give me a, a sandwich. Mm, what a nice. And if I get the extra, then 10 kilos, seat selection as well, plus even a hot meal, and the possibility to change my ticket. So we see some differences. So for my ticket, I will pay, for essences, I will pay 195 Turkish Liras. If I want some advantage, I will pay 20 Turkish Liras more. And if I want the extras, I will pay 55 Turkish Liras more, in total 240. So we see the differences of prices depending on the uh, ticket type. So as a summary, we can say that revenue managers, we set up prices to maximize revenue. There are many factors that influence, can influence the price of a ticket. But some of the ones described on this video were the following. How early the ticket is bought before the flight? What is the time of the flight along the day? And last, what are the different ticket types? What is the flexibility of that ticket? And what are the services associated to my ticket? For instance, is... Thank you very much.